Greetings. So I have a deck to review for you guys. So shout out to Dubrai, the company Dubrai. They um, publish many tarot decks. So one of their new or latest releases would be the Native Spirit Tarot. So they sent this to me for you guys um, to review. Um, and then I also want to do a giveaway with you guys with this deck. So stick around towards the end of the video and I'll give you more details on the giveaway. But I have not opened the deck as you can see. So you guys are going to unbox this with me. So this is unboxing and a review at the same time. This angle is probably not the best. I know people like to see it hovered over the deck. But the way that my setup is right now, I'm just do it you know work with what i've got okay all right so there's the plastic we're moving the packaging here's the box it is a standard you know box um yeah company to you probably are familiar with them i believe they had the the african tarot it was a popular deck last year if i'm not mistaken um okay so let's see it's pretty thick in size okay so here's the tarot guidebook right here okay so this deck um it says the native spirit tarot by max met metinkov hopefully i'm saying their name right probably not it says the native spirit tarot uses native american indian themes to convey the meaning of each card warriors maidens fathers mothers shamans elder wise women and elder wise men appear throughout the deck in the beautiful artwork of Max Miktokov. Mitzenkov, hope I'm saying your name right. If not, I apologize. Our cards are printed on the finest cardstock with beautiful finishes. Colors are rich and the cards will stand up to repeated use. Well, I'm going to be the judge of that. I'm kind of heavy handed when it comes to my shuffling. Like some of you guys know, like you guys see, sometimes it gets that wear and tear on the sides. But yeah, let's see. The tarot book introduction reading tarot cards can reveal insights into your past present or future the premise is simple the client asks a question and the reader draws the cards and interprets the results okay the deck contains 78 cards 22 major arcana and 56 minor arcana the major arcana represent the journey through life and the archetypal stages that everyone experiences everyone begins life as the fool and ends life as the fool the minor arcana represents the actions thoughts and feelings and material struggles that we all encounter in our lives okay so let's see clubs and wands and staff correspond to fire cups cups to water coins to pinnacles discs to earth and swords to spears arrows to air the cards in each of the suits take on the symbolism and essence of the corresponding element. Fire is action, water emotions, earth work, and air thought. So they also have some card spreads in here, three card spread. Um, then they give you tips on the two, how to interpret. And then, okay, so it has the meanings. It's like a color it's like a paper, regular paper deck. I mean, um, guidebook, but it obviously, okay. We see that it's got full color. So let's show you, let's get into the cards. Okay. So there is the meanings of each card. Okay. So let's look at the cards. I do like the cover art of it. It's got like, looks like some fishes here, like a tribal design. I like this. The card stock mm, is kind of flimsy. It's not too, too flimsy. Like it, it bounces back. These are cards that you cannot get wet. It has like a matte finish kind of. Um, mm, let's see the full. Okay, so here is the full. There's a little bit of a glare. Here's the full. The magician. The High Priestess. It's pretty. The Empress. Do see if I could do it this way. Like show it to you guys this way. Let's do it like that. Okay. The Emperor. Here's the Emperor. 
the Hierophants. You see him like he like he about to fight. He about to everybody was kung fu fights. <laughs> he like he about to whoop some ass. Okay, we have the lovers. It's very pretty. With the sunset or the sunrise. The chariot. Okay. Look at him. It's like I ride two horses. Okay, we have the strength. I like it. Is that a wolf? I think that's a wolf. Yeah, it's a big ass wolf. He looks like a, a Kia, uh, Akita. What do you call those big head? They're like dogs. They have really huge heads. The hermit. The will of fortune with the dream catcher. I like it. It's beautiful. Hmm. Justice. Hmm. He's got the skills. So it's kind of sticking to the traditional, not all the way, like, you know, some of the concepts. Obviously, with the strength card being a wolf instead of a lion, but it's still like the imagery, it's it's, you know, kind of similar to the rider weight. Look, you have the hangman. Like they stick to the concept, if that makes sense. The death card. temperance like they you know like everything is based off of you know the culture but it still sticks to it's i'm sorry you guys it sticks to um the tradition of the rider weight the devil card i don't know if you can see that but it's like two people that are captive captive the tower card The star. Mm -hmm. The moon. Hey, why he look displeased? He, he like, he, <laughs> he looks displeased. The sun. The judgment. They have like a mellow uh, kind of, it's not very vibrant, like even of the most, like the sun, there's like a mellow energy, like how do I explain it? It's it's very, um, it's the right word. Yeah, I don't know if mellow would be the right word, but here is the world card. So now we're going to get into the minors starting with the wands okay so here is the ace of wands the two of wands three of wands do 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 the four of wands the five of wands The four of one or the five of wands or six of wands. What am I talking about? Six of wands. Yeah, it's so dark in color. Like, I'm gonna be honest, you guys. I don't really, I don't really like this deck. I have a Native American. I think it's called the Vision Quest Tarot. I vibe with that one more. Um, the colors is more vibrant. This it's like it looks like a lot of things being depicted in the night. And even if it's during the day, it's like it still has that darkness to it a little bit. So we'll do like I'll shuffle these cards and do like a quick reading with them. And then I'll look at the meetings and see like, you know, it, it might give us more detail as to why. I don't know if they stick to the traditional meanings of the tarot. We'll see. But um, I'm, I'm not really a fan of this deck, to be honest. The seven of wands here. OK, I'm not a fan, really. Eight of Wands. And it's no shade to the company because I have um, seen some of their decks and I actually have a couple on my Amazon wish list if anybody wants to donate me a new deck. But um, this one, I'm not really feeling too much. Okay. The Nine of Wands. It's just 
Ten of Wands. The Page of Wands. Because when you think of like the wands, the suit of wands, you would think of like vibrancy and color and light, you know what I mean? But this is very, it's just, it's not speaking to me. Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands. Whoop, she has a little black cat in the back. I don't know if you can really see it it's in the cut back there. King of Wands, I should have used my ring light for this video because it's, uh, I need to pick up the color. The Ace of Cups. Yeah, see how everything is very like smoky and dark and I, I don't like that. Like I don't vibe with it, the Two of Cups. The Three of Cups, yeah, I don't know. This might resonate with someone that I've, Feel led to give this deck away. So, you know, whoever is meant for it, it may resonate with you. But um, I just, I don't like this deck really too much. Four of Cups. Five of Cups. Six of Cups. The Seven of Cups. The Eight of Cups. The Nine of Cups. The Ten of Cups. Like, y'all could even gave the rainbow some... Like, the rainbow was almost like... It's Poe in color. Like, it's... It's struggling for that color to just... It's like almost like oil sleek. Like, it's not a rainbow. It's oil sleek. <laughs> Page of Cups. He's got his little fishy in his cup. A big one, I should say. It's a big cup. The Knight of Cups, the Queen of Cups. She got a big cup too. Well, you know, in the like the Rider way, her cup is not a typical chalice. So, the King of Cups. Okay, the Ace of Arrows. Kind of like this one a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, see, they don't. There's no contrast to tell you like, okay, so if you look at um, a Rider Waite deck or any other deck that when you look at it, the suits, they, um, there's a contrast in color. This, no, they, the settings all pretty much look the same. It's the same. I don't, I don't, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Two of arrows or two of swords. This is kind of dope with the actual heart and the arrows. That's pretty dope. Three of swords, the four of swords. Interesting. There's no one present. The five of swords or five of arrows. The six of swords. The seven of swords. The Eight of Swords. The Nine of Swords. The Ten of Swords. The Page of Arrows or Swords. The Knight of Arrows or Swords. The Queen of Arrows or Swords. The King of Arrows or Swords. And now we're getting into the coins or the pentacles. Here is the ace of pentacles, ace of coins. See, nah, not feeling it. Nah, no, mm -mm, not feeling it. Sorry. Three of pentacles, four of pentacles, the five of pentacles. The Six of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles. And let's see, Nine of Pentacles has some color to it. The Ten of Pentacles. The Page of Coins or Pentacles. 
the knight of coins or pentacles the queen of coins or pentacles and finally the king of pentacles so they have some color in i see all the court cards of the um coins or pentacles have color i'm i mm, okay i'm not a fan all right I'm just, I'm just gonna say not a fan of this deck i will give it credit i do like larger size tarot decks like it gives you more to work with it's it might be actually a standard size tarot deck i will say this i'm not a fan of this deck i like the cover i'll give them i like you know that the style of that how they kind of stuck to the tradition just a little bit while still being unique in the nature of the deck or the culture the style of the deck but the the lack of color i just i can't get with it okay so this is a standard tarot deck size so it's about the same height a little bit past the traditional width just a little bit just a bit not too much um it's if you have small hands it might be like you know not too much of an issue for you to shuffle i don't really like this deck too much and i'm going to be light on it um for whoever this deck is meant for whoever's meant to win this deck i mean i believe that there's something for everybody but this this ain't it for me it's not for me so um i don't resonate with it I do appreciate um, Debray for sending me this deck for free and allowing me to even, you know, do this and do the review with you guys. But I'm going to be generous and give it away rather than just keeping it, you know, knowing that I don't resonate with it. So I'm going to give it away. Um, yeah, I don't resonate with this deck at all. Um, there's nothing about it that I'm connecting with. Like, yes, I have um, Native American decks that I do resonate with this, but this that with, but this is not that deck. The um, the let's see. I don't want to break it in too much because I'm gonna give it away. But um, it might be. Let me see if you can do the. It might be a little hard to do the bridge because it is like a, a thick deck. So it might be a little hard to do that. But um, yeah, I don't like this deck. I, I have to say, like, there's not much color to work with. Like, you know, it's almost like it, the whole entire deck has this like shadow tone to it. You know what I mean? Very smoky. Okay, so let's see. What is a message? I'm going to pull. Let's see. Let's do three cards. Let's do a three card pull. Holy Spirit, I thank you for your divine guidance, your divine wisdom. Two. Let's see. High Priestess and the Six of Swords. Okay. I'm going to read this intuitively first, and then I'm going to read the meanings in the guidebook. Five of Cups. So... You guys are moving through potentially a challenging energy. Okay. So challenging energy that you guys are moving through right now with the high priestess card. I feel like you are being divinely guided through this transition. You may even have some type of divine support or divine assistance to guide you through this transition. It looks like where you're headed right now, maybe in a process of healing or dealing with something, um, dealing with something maybe that you, you felt some disappointment with. This could be leading you into a place of healing or recovery with what was lost or what was seemingly lost it's like you have to address or deal with that i feel like you're being guided it's like a journey into this um in order to get you to a place so you might be revisiting something that was touchy in the past actually you're led into this you're being guided into this you have better clarity or you're being led to revisit this for greater clarity than where you left or where you once were so i feel like for some of you um, you're divinely being led back to um, a challenging emotional situation or something that some type of feelings of 
of abandonment or feelings of rejection or feeling of some type of emotional lack, something lacking, a lack of peace, a lack of joy, or feeling like something was missed or taken from you. Um, you're being guided to go back to that or you have literally like someone spiritually supporting you and guiding you through this process. Some of you guys, it could be therapy. It could be a spiritual consultant. It could be a friend. It could even be um, an ancestor on the other side. You do have the queen of coins at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, it could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn person or a mother like figure, the fool. Yeah. So that you can free yourself of what was lost or recovering so that you can free yourself packing light, not carrying the old energy with you, not carrying the weight with you. So let's see what the meanings of these cards are. So starting with the high priestess. Okay. The high priestess, it says, the high priestess represents the knowledge and enlightenment that we attain while overcoming difficulties. The high priestess archetype is the second encounter for the fool, indicating that we must learn about our intuition, how to trust it, and when to seek guidance from others. The symbolism, a young medicine woman stands beneath the crescent moon between the two pillars, which represent the gateway between life and death. She uses this bridge between the worlds to help those in need. And the upright position represents divination, wisdom from experience, insight, and counseling. Okay. Let's see. Six of Swords. Oh. Where is the arrows? Okay. Uh, so it says the meaning you need to move from one shore of thinking to another. You are currently in between and need to complete the journey. The symbolism is a warrior takes a woman and her son to a new land. The six of arrows represents a transition from one or sorry, from one. Why do I keep saying one from an old way of thinking to a new one? Upright transition and the old gives way to the new. The five of cups. The meaning you have a disappointment you must accept hidden responsibilities or sorry, hidden possibilities have not yet been revealed. Um, symbolism, a man in mourning stares down at three spilled cups behind him are two that are still upright that he is unaware of. He does not realize it yet, but all is not lost. Upright disappointment and sadness from loss. Okay. Um, and then we did have the queen of coins. Let me look at that. And then the fool as well at the top of the deck. So really, this is all about you getting to a place of newness and your transition. Um, rather than looking at this from a place of lack. So the queen of coins, where are you? Okay, queen of coins, get your life in order. Review your finances. Make sure all important legal documents are in place. Assess your material life and fix anything that needs attention. Symbolism, a matron of the tribe holds a coin in her hand, representing the wealth she can share with a worthy supplicant. The rabbit beside her is her symbol of fertility and abundance. Upright, this represents stability and necessity. The fool... The meaning of the fool represents a leap of faith, the beginning and ending of the major arcana journey we all take through life. We are the fool. Therefore, the fool archetype is about curiosity and open mindedness, going with the flow of life and managing our way through the unknown. The symbolism is a young warrior and his dog are wandering carelessly across the land, about to walk off of a cliff because they are looking up instead of where they are going. Upright, the meaning is optimism, a journey without a destination, a new beginning, curiosity, and potential. Okay, so you do have two, six, and five, so that might be significant numbers for you. Um, 265 might be a significant number or to look that up. So um, 65 is 11, 
So four plus the two. So that's four if you bring that down to one single digit or 1111. So this could be significant to you guys as well. Transitional energy I'm getting from this. Significant changes coming into balance, coming into har harmony once you deal with the challenging energies. So I'm going to leave it at that. How you guys can participate in this giveaway. Go ahead and comment below um leave a green heart in the comment section and i will do a um, generator of your names or um the number of you guys i will assign a number to each person's name and then i'll do the giveaway some um a couple of days later after you know you guys get enough of you guys to um participate whoever would like to get this deck leave a green heart in the comment section of this video and i will do a giveaway shortly after to let me um, let you guys all know who the winner was but i appreciate you guys thank you so much for participating i send you guys all love thank you so much for watching it's probably not the best setup i have to do with what i have right now how my setup is um but yeah this deck i'm for rating purposes i'm just i'm gonna give it a seven and i say seven is because the guidebook is it's it's pretty decent um the card stock is pretty decent the native aspect of it i do like it the um structure like how they stick to the system they pretty they pretty much stick to it as close as as you know you know they did you know so i'll give them effort for that but as far as the color it just lacks color i just you know, we need some transition, like six of cups should not be mellow tone. You know what I mean? Like we need some brightness, the 10 of cups, like that rainbow was very poor in color. It, it was lacking a little bit. It was, it, you know, I was unsure about it. You know, it was giving me 10 of cups in reverse vibes. I just, I just couldn't really get with it. So the sun was lacking its, its brightness, you know, I'm, I'm not feeling it. So I'll give this deck a rating of a seven. But if you guys like this deck, you guys resonate with Native American or shamanism, this might be the deck for you. It could be a shadow work reading. It could be very good for maybe dream interpretation readings, actually. But for me, I just, I don't vibe with it. I don't. But I'm going to save this deck for someone out there that this deck is meant for. <laughs> so much love as always, you guys. Um, I'm going to smudge it and clear it for you, get my energy off of it, and I will send it to you guys like new. And as always, be blessed, be safe, take care, peace.